Hello and welcome. We are back playing some Seven Days to Die. And as you can tell, it's a new mod. Yes, for Alpha 17. That is right. As you can tell, this is Winter Project. Explore and try to survive in the frozen landscape of Winter Project. Continue. Basic skills. We're going to do all this. So you can tell the gen is kind of kind of messed up. Uh, well, it could be that could just be covered with snow. I'm not sure how that's. Oh, come on. So we're gonna get along with a, a few of these quests as I talk about how everything is. Looks like we got a little bit more bag space than we usually start off with because I think it's just that. Yep. And as you can tell, we have customized. Uh, UI we at the very top you have the little radar thing going on or compass compass yeah that's right that's it and uh, before we get started I guess we should probably put this coat on right yeah let's go ahead and wear this coat because it is winter winter all over the place everywhere you look is winter um, is that a wolf or a deer? I don't know. We'll just stay over here. I think it's a deer. Yeah, if it was a wolf, it would already be over here trying to eat me. Now, it did have... Well, looks like we do have a snowman. Maybe I didn't turn, turn that stuff off all the way. But we have to gather some stuff. As you know, these little twig thing here, those are... As you can tell, there's not much stuff on the ground, so kind of sucks for that. And as you see, we do have a shovel. One thing I don't like about it, the snow shovel, it takes up your whole freaking screen. And as you may know, everything is completely covered with snow. So that's even more horrible. If you look down at the bottom left, you'll see that we do have where our UI is. You can see our food and drink, which is very good. I hate wondering how much food and stuff we have. Um, let's see, the forges. They got an extra slot in the forges. Um, try to think of some of the other mods. The, the zombies are quite different. There's customized zombies because it is frozen area. And I'm not sure what the heck is that over there. Yeah, we're already getting zombies. He, he's, he's a funny looking one now. Yeah, you can see where all the zombies are all around. Don't want to go fighting anything right yet because I'm still looking for stupid rocks on the ground so I can uh, finish this quest we're doing here. Then we'll start heading to the little cities. As you can tell, we've got a little snowman here. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Boom. Have some of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do our axe, I think it is. Yeah, axe. The quest is the quest as you can tell they skipped a bit of the quest so the quest the quest line starter thing is a bit different and I think our best bet here is see if we can get into this snowy thing here and you have to watch out for zombies and whatnot. Trying to see if there's any wood on these. Oh, here we go. Let's get our shovel here. This puts a, a new twist on the game. Just have to dig out your POIs and stuff. Let's see if I can get any wood from this. Might be a little bit quicker. Not much quicker though, is it? Yeah. 
there's a zombie in there as you can tell there are these trees um, there are a couple little mods modlets or whatever you want to call them that are in here one of the things are Christmas trees these things are I could have swore I turned this off but I might might not have so as you can tell these are Christmas trees for yep Christmas this mod's been out for a little while so not too long but we can get some wood from it at least okay now we have to gather stone which is gonna be fun not seeing any around laying on the ground oh here we go you can tell how this is going to be how exciting this is going to be because the fact that you have to find everything big open areas I can just see a horde night Ooh. just the fact of getting supplies and whatnot but I do like the under the under the compass up above you do have um, it tells you the time of day tells you the temperature uh, the the wind how fast the wind winds going and also you have altitude which comes in handy sometimes um, the traders will be will actually be um, Santa Clauses so that's that's another thing that's in this mod you do have quite a quite a, a bunch of uh, stuff um, the loading once you load up seven days it's a custom uh, custom menu okay so let's go ahead and do a bow craft I say craft thank you arrows Well, we got enough for two arrows. See, once you do find some stone, it's stone rock or something, it's worth it keeping a hold of. Feathers are not an issue. Yeah, let's see how far we are from Trader is that way. So we can hit over that way. I'd rather not go, go to that place over there. That doesn't look too too nice. I do see some trees over there. Pick up rocks as we go. Um, let's go ahead and get our this guy down here. Yeah, as soon as we find a big rock, we're going to have to beat that thing for a while. So we can try to try to just to get rocks along the way and as you can tell the POI has changed it's covered with snow so in order to get to a POI you have to dig your way into it so that that makes things interesting and the POIs from a distance you don't see the snow on them but as you get closer, you'll see them. And I've noticed some of them. What? Well, this is interesting. I'm removing the wood from that. Okay. We can't loot that, so it's... Oh, that's one of those boxes. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get in there. We're going to get z zombies coming out at us. I do want you to see some of the zombies. Now, as you can tell, as we get closer over here, you can tell that this is uh, a, a normal house. The closer we get to it, it will get covered with snow like that one did. And I think that's basically just a render. Yep, see, there goes it. The snow is now rendering in. 
which kind of makes it cool. I mean, let's go ahead and get some more rock. Uh, arrows. Make some more. As you tell, we're starting to get a little bit more stuff laying on the ground, but you're not seeing boulders, which kind of sucks. Now, you can always dig your way into one of these and take it over, I suppose. And there's polar bears. We don't want to mess with no bear. So you have to imagine everything is a winter wasteland, basically. What is that over there? Looks like a little coyote or a fox or something. I'm not going to go over and see. Go ahead and keep picking up rocks along the way because that's that's a valuable resource there, I do believe. Other than that, only way I think we can get rocks is just beat beat stuff up. That's gonna take a lot of stamina. It's, it's 45 degrees out, and I think the the temperature below. This is my temperature. So with this coat on, I'm 7 degrees. So that I should be good with this coat on. It's a little puffer coat. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out this little zombie here. Come here, Mr. Zombie. It might help if I put an arrow in there, huh? You see this guy as we get closer to him. He is a custom zombie, and he kind of died face down, so... Not gonna be able to see that way. And there, there's a lot of these guys right there. Those little crawler guys, and they're quite evil. Rock, please. Okay, as we get closer to the trader, let's let's hightail it a little bit. I think we may be in a desert biome. Even though it's still wasteland, or I mean, uh, snow everywhere. And I'm seeing a glitch over here. Oh, holy crap, I wonder what it, that is. Yeah, I think that's just a render issue. Oh, bear. I wonder if he'll change into a, uh, yeah, this might be a wasteland, actually. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that would be my guess. Bear, you stay over there, please. You too, Vulture. And I'm not sure if, like, the Vultures will actually make you, uh, like, freeze you in spots. That would be kind of cool. The Vulture hits you, you kind of kind of get a slowing effect on you. Stay back, Mr. Vulture. Let's continue to keep moving to... It's probably past this town is where it probably is. Now, I kind of want to... I imagine it's going to be quite... Um, laggy in town here just for the fact that um, it's got to get covered with snow so that's one thing reason why yeah I can start seeing stuff fill up with snow there 
let's turn around look back there's one building yep here goes everything starting to get covered up but I there's another vulture we're gonna continue to keep going yeah we're getting Slight little uh, lag there. Keep an eye on that vulture. And as you can see, these buildings are getting covered up with snow. Especially the bottom parts of it, it gets, it's almost all the way. Oh, here we can see, see a zombie right there. I'm trying to see what it is. Oh. Oh, we're out of arrows. Give me my arrow back. Get this bird's nest up. Let's try to get through here. But I want to at least kick you guys through town. That way you guys get to experience the frozen wonderland. I don't think it's a wonderland, but this guy kind of looks like he's on fire, doesn't he? Well, I guess this would be the burning area. And I believe that's a wolf, but we're not going to get close enough to him to find out. That being, I have no arrows. Ten arrows now. Let's continue to run. Kind of want to check out the trader myself, because before I, when I test this, I, I never went to the trader, and I kind of want to see what the trader looks like. Um, we're only 400, 450 meters away, so that's not too bad. We'll try to mosey along as fast as possible. Um, okay, Mr. Uh, little Wolf Guy. Yeah, you can tell there's not very many trees at all, except for these little Christmas trees that they they placed in here. That's probably why I went ahead and loaded it, the Christmas trees back up. Okay, we do have a water tower, it seems, right here. Really? Okay. Really snow? There's snow inside? The one POI I went in didn't have snow inside. This may be because this is, is a broken building. Oh, yep, yeah, that's what it is. So we'll continue on our way to the trader. I do believe that would be the trader right here. Yep. Boy, you're a squawky dude, aren't you? Okay, at least we do not have... I was kind of worried about that. Are we going to have to break snow to get in? Okay. Can't go that way. Okay. 
Okay. How do we talk to the traitor? Guess we get up here like this. Is there a door in? Because we can't. I don't think we can dig the snow here, can we? Oh, we can. So we just have to figure out. Oh, there's a door right here. Yeah, this is probably the best way to get in and out. There we go. Good thing the door wasn't locked. But I didn't pick that up. Might as well look at the goodies we get. Oh, look at a cowboy hat. Clothes. Ooh. What do we got over here? Bullets and arrowheads. The arrowheads would probably be very useful since. Okay, we can't see him. There's a lighting issue here. Let's see if we can light him up. Nope, come on. There, it's Santa Claus. Santi. Uh, can't. You give me a present? <laughs> no, you cannot. Oh, he doesn't even want. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look, there's presents. Oh, we can actually open presents. Oh, nice. Look at we have goodies. But yeah, guys, I hope you like this. I think it would be kind of interesting to give us a try. Um, you can find this on the mod launcher itself. Uh, or you can download it like any other thing. And as you can see, we do have an extra slot here for the forage, which will come in handy. There's just snow all, everywhere. All your Christmas wishes come true. Oh, that would be nice. I don't think so, since it's a little past Christmas. This would be a good mod to play on Christmas, though. But, like I said, this mod is available for download or on the mod launcher. I'll have all the information down below. But if you liked what you've seen, go ahead and smash that, hit, that uh, little button that little like button and sub that way you can see what other mods I come and find and what whatnot for Alpha 17 but until next time I want to thank everybody for watching please like share comment all that good stuff and we'll catch you in the next one goodbye